Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you everything I picked up from Tesco. So I did a poll over on my Instagram stories asking you guys if you wanted to see a Tesco clothing haul because I've been seeing a few people do some hauls and wear some of their stuff and I, to be honest, really wanted to try it out so I was hoping you would all say yes and you did. So here we are. I went there the other night. I did a late night trip. Does anyone else love going to supermarket super late? It's looking very neutral toned on my bed right now. Um, there's a lot of nudes, creams, whites, grey. There's not really any dark colours so we are full neutral in today's haul. I've got my coffee here because I need a little bit of a pick me up. My little at home Starbucks. Okay so the first piece I'm going to show you is this loungewear set. Now they had a white loungewear set and they had a sage green loungewear set which I really wanted but they didn't have my size so that's why I picked up the white and I think they had a black as well. It's not my favourite. I'm starting off with my least favourite. I think I will probably save the best ones till last. Okay so this is the top. So it's a half zip pie neck. Now the material of it is kind of like this silky it's a silky material and I don't know how I feel about it I liked it at first like looking at it on the hanger I was like oh that feels really really nice when you're actually wearing it not so much the top but the bottoms I'm just I don't know I just don't know how I feel about it I mean hanging on a hanger it does look nice so this is what it looks like a bit closer up so these are the cuffs and you've got two front pockets here and then it's kind of like a boxy fit. It doesn't have a waistband at the bottom. It kind of just hangs. So what I did was I kind of tucked the front into the trousers, to the like joggers. So I'll just hold it a little bit closer so you can get an idea of the material. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. But yeah, so this is the top. Not really much to say about the top. The bottoms look like this. Now, I don't really like the whole draw the silk drawstring situation. And obviously I saw that hanging up on the hanger before I bought it. But like I said, I wanted the sage green one, which was slightly different to this one. I wanted to just, you know, take one home and show you guys because some of you guys might like this style. So, you know, so as you can see, you've got gold detailing where the drawstring comes out of and then the drawstrings are actually silk. You've got pockets, which is good, but I think because of the material that it is, that's what makes it see through. So in the try on clip, I do actually show, cause I had a bodysuit underneath. So I show where you can see my bodysuit. So obviously if I had just underwear on underneath, you're gonna see right through. I don't get why they make stuff like this because it's just so see through. It's such a shame really. If it was that little bit thicker and not see through, then it probably would have been perfect. This is what the legs look like. I did roll them up once. These are the ankle bits. So they do go a little bit tight not really tight they're elasticated so they're very stretchy but yeah like I said I mean you'll see it on the trial clip how it looks on me I just yeah I think it's one of those ones that look good on the hanger but when you've actually got it on it's a bit like Mm. So I did actually size up in the bottoms. I got them in a 14. Reason being, because of the material of them, I just thought I didn't really want it to be kind of tight around my thighs. So just for reference, if you're new here, I'm five foot three and I range from a 10 to 12 and sometimes a 14 in things like jeans or leather trousers, things that are a little bit more tighter. I could kind of tell they were gonna be a little bit see-through. So I thought if I get them a little bit bigger, they won't be so tight around my bum and my thighs because I do have quite wide hips so things tend to hug that area. The fit of them are okay like they're not too tight or or too big or anything like that. I like the fit of them. It's just the fact that they're still see-through and they're quite a bad see-through I would say. You buy them individually so the bottoms were £15 so not too bad and the top I got in a size 14 as well because holding it up on the hanger it did look quite small which is why I did size up as well. The top was £16 so um, I don't know is that I think I don't know it's hard to say I don't want to say it's too much for this like for what it is you know with the fact that it's very see-through 
you can make that decision for yourself. Okay, next up we've got this cute little square neck knitted jumper. Now this is very, very thin, but it's really stretchy as well. So you could get away with getting a size down in this, I would say. So I got a 12, but I definitely think I could have got away with a 10 because it's got that stretchiness to it. It's also got a slight puff sleeve there, as you can see, obviously the way it's sitting on the hanger. It's a little bit hard to show you, but it's a slight puff sleeve. The neckline is a square neckline, which I absolutely absolutely love and then the cuffs look like this so they're quite a big cuff and then they slightly balloon puff out on the sleeves I quite like it I think it's a nice cute jumper this was 16 pounds which I think is okay like I said it is on the thin side but it you know it does feel like it's quite good quality and the bottom kind of has this elasticated bit so it does kind of fit to your shape but yeah it's definitely perfect quality for the spring summer because like I said it's not too thick so you won't overheat in it and this is it close up just to show you the pattern on it it's kind of like a mini cable knit all round next up we've got another white jumper now this is slightly on the thicker side this is quite thick actually it's not a really oh <laughs> okay so i don't think this one is gonna hang on the hanger so i'll just have to hold it up but as you can see it's kind of like a v-neck it's not really a deep deep v-neck but you can see how it kind of scoops down now when i was wearing it it was i mean i do show it in the charm clip but it was quite um baggy around my shoulders i don't know if that's because i'm quite small up top it might be better for someone that's a bit more broader than me i don't know if you kind of wear it off shoulder and i was wearing it wrong i'm not sure about this one i do really like it though it's a really nice thick white fresh knit this is the sleeve so they don't really well they go a little bit tight yeah as you can see and the bottom looks like this so it does kind of tighten at the bottom, but I just tucked it into a pair of jeans and I thought it looked perfect. I would definitely wear it tucked into something. I got this in a size 10 and it was 18 pounds. Now I definitely would say it's worth the 18 pounds for the thickness of it. So next up, we've got this cable knit vest. Now I was actually quite shocked when I saw this in Tesco because these are really really in at the moment this was 18 pounds and i got it in a size large i quite like my vests to be oversized even though i tuck them into whatever i'm wearing i just like the whole kind of like fit of it i guess to be quite baggy now i would say this is more of a thinner knitted vest so for 18 pounds I guess it's not too bad. I would expect it to be a little bit thicker, but and that's just me being picky. But yeah, it's really, really nice. It doesn't have the cable knit detailing on the back. The back is just kind of like a plain striped detailing, but on the front, it's got the cable knit and it's a V-neck. And yeah, I thought this was really, really nice. They only did it in a gray, I think. I don't remember seeing any other colors. But yeah, these are really, really popular at the moment. So I'm actually quite shocked when I saw it in there. And this is the detailing close up. But you know, like I've said before in my previous hauls, we don't really need thickness as such now. Like going into spring, summer, you don't want things to be too thick. So I guess in a way, anything that's thin is kind of okay for spring, summer. Okay, next up we have this cardigan. Now I wasn't sure about this. I didn't know if it was a bit too mature for me but when i wore it like when i tried it on i actually quite liked it so i love 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 the color of it i think that's kind of what drew me in but this is what it looks like so it's just got one button in the middle and i'll just show you a close-up of the colors so it's a very very kind of like neutral they've got very like light light very very light beige nudie tones in there with obviously white and it's quite a long cardigan as you will see in the trial clip it's a bit too long for me to kind of show you on here but yeah i actually really liked this on even though when i saw it i was like i liked it but i just didn't know if it was kind of my style and for like my kind of age so this was 22 pounds and i got it in a size medium so i definitely think the medium was the perfect size for me i think a large would have just looked too big and a small maybe would have been a little bit too fitted i would say it's worth 22 pounds if i'm being completely honest it's not really really thick but it's got a really nice soft 
kind of feel to it it also has pockets as well i know sometimes like myself i don't really use the pockets but it's just nice to know that it's there so as soon as i saw this i knew this was going straight in my basket this is a shacket i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with the color of it and the feel of it it's nice and soft it's not itchy to wear so you can wear it with nothing underneath if you wanted to but these are another thing that are also so in at the moment and you can get so much wear out of them you can wear them in so many different ways i got this one in a 10 now i did try and do it all the way up to wear kind of like a shacket dress but it definitely kind of hugs my hips because as i said my hips are quite wide so i would definitely have to get a size 12 yeah i'd say a 12 would be good to wear it as kind of like well actually i don't know i don't know if it was too short to wear as a dress i didn't really notice that but uh, which i should have but yeah i got this in a 10 so if you're looking to wear it as more like a shacket dress then definitely size up there's so many different ways you can wear shackets but this one is just perfect the tones are just right up my street so this is what it looks like closer up so you've got two pockets at the top you've got this really nice light creamy beigey buttons which i love it kind of ties in so well with all the other colors it's so soft as well it's it's definitely worth £25 which is what I paid for it. The quality of it is really really good. You can get so much wear out of these all year round so if they have one of these in your Tesco definitely definitely pick it up. Okay next up we've got another top. I really liked this on the hanger but I didn't really like it on me. I don't know what it was I just I don't know I didn't really like it but I think on the hanger it still looks nice but just me personally I don't think it suits. I think it might be the sparkliness that I don't really like. This kind of is picking up very light on camera, but in person, I would say this is more like a very, very light goldy, kind of beigey colour. And then obviously you've got the black, white, and then again, and again. Again, I think this is maybe a little bit more of a maturer piece. It's got a slight v-neck there, which sometimes I think is the problem. I think v-necks can sometimes be a bit more older, like an older looking style. Perhaps that's what it is. And then these are the sleeves. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a cute piece, but I just don't know how I feel about it on me. So this was £16 and I got it in a size 12. The fit of it was fine. I sized up because I knew I was going to tuck it into something. So if that's the case, if you want to do that, then size up. But if you want it more like a fitted look, then stick to your normal size. I would say it's not really worth £16. I mean, for what it is, like the quality of it is good, but I don't know. I guess, yeah, for the thickness of it, it's not really thick, but you know, you can tell it's good quality. So yeah, I guess £16 is a fair amount. Yeah, not keen on this piece, but I do think it is quite a cute top. And lastly, this is one of my favourite pieces. Now, I know this is probably, like looking at it, it looks like quite a warm piece, probably a bit too warm for the spring summer. But in the UK, there's definitely evenings where it gets a little bit chilly or even days where it's just dull. So I definitely think this will come in handy. So this is the material of it. So it's like a, it's like a really soft wool. I don't want to say it's thick because it's it's not really thick. That's not the right word to use. It's just a really warm quality. So yeah, it's really hard to explain, but I'll just show you close up. You wouldn't call this a, a, um, a shacket, would you? I don't know what you would call this, to be honest, but I really like it. Um, obviously, it's a lovely cream colour. I got it in a size 12. It's perfect. I probably could have got away with a 10, but I'm happy with the 12. This was £29. Definitely would say it's worth £29. I think that's quite a good price for this. Standard sleeve, I would say. I really, really like this. Like I said, you'll definitely get wear out of it through spring, summer, because, you know, there's never a time when every single day is warm in the UK. There's definitely some chillier days. So so that is everything I personally liked in Tesco. I've seen people pick up some nice loungewear sets, but I didn't see any of them in the one that I went to. So this is what I found. I did get this very recently. I got it like two days ago. So when you guys see this video, I would have got it. You, you guys are going to see this tomorrow. So I got all this stuff on the weekend. So it should all still be in stock. I don't know if Tesco have a website where you can see all their clothing. I'm not sure. If they do, obviously then I will link everything below. But if they don't, then you'll just have to go in your Tesco 
and find whatever you like. Yeah, definitely recommend going down there and having a look because even I was shocked with all the bits that I found. And I am going to go to Asda next and do a little haul there. So this is like a supermarket cloven haul week and I'm really excited to see what Asda have to offer. If you want to see more from me, then don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to see how I style all of these pieces, then follow me over on my Instagram and hopefully I will see you all in my next one.